Hawkins on left half forward. Danaher's kick puts the Bombers inside 50. Alessio the flyer. Kranzberg is there as well. His left foot kick bounces through for the first. Back in the middle once again. Madden beaten. Scholl got a touch but couldn't get it out. Neither could Brown. Towards Alessio. Well spoiled by Silvani. No, uh, Silvani was holding. holding. He was holding. And is that 50 metres? No. I thought the way Peter Cameron ran, ran in, he was going to penalise Silvani even further. This for Essendon to regain the lead. Drop puck. Straight through the middle. Handball for McKay. Breaks the tackle. They're in trouble, the Blues. The Essendon forwards are really working to keep the ball within scoring distance for the Bombers. O'Donnell. Now Denham, there's some creativity. Spawn will run up to the 50-metre line. He'll nearly kick it from there. Kieran Spawn makes no mistake. John Glady kicked the goal, Sandy. I'm nearly running out of breath. But... This is Michael Sexton. He's having his 22nd birthday next week. Only as far as centre wing. Now Kranzberg can send the Bombers into attack again. The half forward. And the mark taken by McCurry. Kick it! Directly in front, 45 I was just going to say, it's all turned around because of Wanganu. This to make the margin three points. Kick it has booted it. But they're continuing to apply pressure at him. He loses it. And now the Bombers have the numbers. Kranzberg inside 50. The left foot drop punt. They need a goal. And he's got one. Spalding in a little bit of trouble. Taken away by Mercedes. Quite an efficient player. His kick made a little bit ineffective, but we, uh, Hills it is. In towards centre half forward. Excellent mark taken by Mercury. Mercury from directly in front, only 30 metres out, and he gets Essendon's sixth goal. Harvey there to tidy up for Essendon. He'll make you pay, Earl. He's a good kick of the football out towards half forward. Kudafidis. Buick back on the ground after being given a message, I'm sure, from Kevin Sheedy. Now Mercury. Chance for Grenbol. And he kicks a goal for Essendon. Spawn. Back he goes to Grenbol. Can the Bombers mount something now? In towards half forward. Almost the mark to Mercury. Now a chance for Hurd. He goals. Sends the Bombers into attack. Oh, beautifully controlled by Paul Hills. Goes over the top to his teammate in Delaney. And Delaney answers. Goal for goal here at the MCG. He goes long to the wing. Spawn, if he recovers, will be away. Lopes clear. Kick it is his target. Use the body nicely. The Bombers have the numbers. Mercury's an exciting player. And he finds a view at just 30 metres out. So he had his kicking boot on last week. And he's just stuck that one home. They may get out of it, Carlton. They've got the numbers. Athorn's kick over is a shocker. Chance for Hills. Inside 50 they go. And the mark is taken by Delaney. The youngster finds Kicket, who gave a moment's thought playing on but then decided to go back and take his kick goal for goal continues Carlton don't want to incur any more injuries because uh, Silvani's injured on the bench and so is um, Silvani's on the ground uh, Don centre half back O'Donnell goal it's going to be through it is and the Bombers regain the lead defeat he's in under a little bit of pressure but he goes back gathers tries to get it towards bradley spawn gets his left foot to it scrambles a kick towards half forward hog beaten for it by mercury mercedes shot for goal is there Ooh, great play by mercury shoal beaten for it by hills o'donnell back again he goes this time hills hand pass is longer o'donnell follows play down Let's one go from outside 50 and bounces it through. Second goal for Gary O'Donnell. I think
think it's important that all of those things are done for the whole of the game, and that makes a good victory. Kranzberg, well done. Here's a chance. Kranzberg for goal number three. He's got it. Well done. Recovery good. About 50 metres up towards the wing, but a good mark taken by Alessio over Madden. Alessio's kick in towards the centre. No mark. Picked off the pack by Kranzberg. Little kick. James Hurd's got it. He'll run into an open goal and he'll kick a goal for Essendon. The ball back down the bubbles. Second goal for Hurd. Delaney. Kicker. Who's been patchy today? Kranzberg. Has oh. a bandaged head. Carlton defence knitting together pretty well. Well, a free kick has been plucked out here. It's going the way of McCurry. He wants kick it. Can't take the one-hander. An opportunity to goal here by Hurd. Can they come back? McCurry. Harvey again. Wants Spawn. He could kick it from there. He's 45 out directly in front. Here's the kick. Straight through the middle. What a finish. The bounce is not a favourable one for Madden. It's taken by Alessio and hammered down towards Kicker. He was interfered with. Play goes on. Gives the hand pass to Delaney. A high floating kick in towards half forward. Harvey! Claim. Ball still free. Kranzberg! They've hit the front. Three quick goals. They're back in front. Alessio takes it out of the centre bounce. Kicks it up to an in goal scoring distance once again. Kranzberg dispossessed by Sexton. Taken away by Harvey. Harvey. Shot to the goal front. Hurts a chance. He's it's going to bounce through for a goal. It is a goal to Harvey. <laughs> what a goal. Look at the players as they hit for Mark Harvey. McCoy, look out. Harvey's got you. No, the kick all right. Mark taken by Sexton. Blues are a chance now. Sexton's kick into the pocket. Kernahan! Oh, he's knocking oh, it. From behind in oh. a passage of four players. He's pulled down a screamer. Oh, the captain. The siren has sounded. So this kick, he only has to score to win. And Mark Thompson calling all the Essendon players back onto the full back line. Well, what a scene here at the MCG. The ball with the Carlton captain, and he has to score to win the game for the Blues. And he misses. It's out of bounds. It's a draw. Oh, no. The thing that really stuck out in my mind, reflecting on the game, was that we had the game at the last minute, like they were in front fairly well and in going into the last quarter and halfway through the last quarter. But then when we come back, we had the game. It was ours. And um, then we sort, of, we sort of turned the ball over at a critical stage and the ball sort of come down to Kernahan and, and uh, I just thought it was over then because I thought for sure he's going to get a score. But uh, in the end, when it, I seen the ball sail out of bounds, I couldn't believe it. You know, it was an incredible feeling. At, uh, one where you're sort of you're happy on one side of your body and you're sort of, sort of thinking, oh, it could have been our game and we missed it. Monkhorst 